Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you another stamping plan with me because I've been getting some requests that people have been missing these types of videos so I thought I'd put one out. This one is for the first week of August and I'm featuring the Planner Addicts Collection by You and Me Make. There are page flags as well as full boxes, a decorative sheet, and the icon set is similar to the other girl boss icon set so I'm using that today and I had already laid one of those boxes down from the planner attic set because I was about to not film this and I was like wait this would be a good one to film because I haven't done too many plan with me's in my happy planner so here is another one so on Monday I am using bubble habit tracker or habit tracker bubble by Atelier Dreams just to track my habits and with the happy planner I found that I like to spread out my trackers um, on different days like my Instagram tracker as well as my work hours are going on Tuesday and my habits are going on Monday. I, I work full time, I work Monday to Friday so I don't exactly have so much to do during the day. So I just utilize the other boxes for other things. So for these trackers, I am using Icon Borders by Atelier Dreams as well. I will have all the sets I used down below and in the days that I use them just so w when you're watching the video you can tell which sets they're from for the days. You get what I mean, right? So I'm just using the one with the um, the space on the right and then the other one, the space on the left, just to mix things up a bit. I will also have the ink colors I use listed down below if you were interested. And I'm going to be marking off the habit trackers or the trackers with Headliners Bold by Atelier Dreams as well. And I'm using the little Instagram icon from the limited edition anniversary set which is not for sale so sorry about that but it is hard for stamp designers to use icons like this because of the copyright issue they could only really give it to you as a freebie because yes it's not allowed but i am bringing let's bring it back sorry let's bring it back to what is going on on the screen i am using what is this one called Girl, I don't know. <laughs> this is Circle Weeklies. Oh my gosh, I am so rusty with voiceovers. I'm so sorry, guys. But this is Circle Weeklies, the single line of Monday to Sunday. And oh, there's my head. Just get out of the way, head. Yeah, because this one, this little, little dude is from the anniversary set as well. And I really wanted to align it properly. So I needed to get my head in there. I'm sorry. So I'm going to do one of my favorite things to do with these little icon stickers is stamp on them and I'm just using them as a like a little to do thing on one of the boxes. I'm just doing multiple stamping at once so I don't have to keep doing it. Right? Multitasking? Something like that? Yes, yes. So I just added another header to the weekly habit tracker and then I'm going to be adding one of these page flags. Now unfortunately a lot of these page flags sell out really quickly and they are in quite limited quantities so i'm so sorry so that was so canadian sorry um sorry that i i am you know flaunting these no i'm not flaunting them but i'm sorry that you can't get your hands on them at the moment but the planner attic sheet has a lot of these little planner icons so you can kind of get your fix if you're really jonesing for these page flags but I just covered up the little notes header there because I don't really use it as notes I actually don't use the little sidebar for anything so if you have any suggestions on what I can use that little sidebar for please let me know okay keep going on tangents I'm so sorry so that little strip actually fits the length of two boxes but I just cut it down with my exacto knife instead of just using scissors I like to use my exacto knife to just like rip it kind of like what you would do with a old card with washi I use an exacto knife so it's extremely precise because I'm just extra like that but anywho so I kind of just save the rest of the strip for another header for another box and then okay moving to Tuesday and here's when I kind of get extra, extra, where I have this washi tape. It's from Michaels. I will leave a link down below if I can find it. It's just one of their mini rolls, which are solid colors, but it's super pretty because 
the pattern is clear so a lot of the blue of the header shows up but I wanted to cut it down to fit on the header space and it took me a while to figure out the dimensions and there you'll see my, my eyeball my head pop in there because I am just extra like that that I need to get it perfect oh my gosh I just need to calm it down and you know just do it and not be so extra <laughs> So I'm just using my X-Acto knife and I have to flip the paper because my left hand does not work with this X-Acto knife and I just don't want to chance it and accidentally cut myself so I turn the paper because I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I'm adding a header to this box and it's from Planning Day. I'm losing my voice already. And then here we go for another icon. And that is gonna go on Monday. So usually when I do these plan with me's, well, from what I have noticed, I kind of like go, I don't do one day at a time. I kind of just like flip back and forth. And that just, that's what works for me. So I just wanted to show you that on one of the Planner Addicts sheets, the little pencil there is actually the same print as in their floral sheet. And I just love that tiny little detail because it just makes things a little bit more special. And so this pen, I was having trouble with figuring out where this pen was going to go and I was like, okay, it's just going to be a like an underline for a t for the to-do section. So I, I put it there and I was like, wait, I need to stamp out a to-do header. And so I do that and then I am putting the sticker back. Yes. Okay, back to Monday and my camera cut off. So sorry about that. But I just laid that image down. That was Caffeine Junkie. Um, that's from Coffee First by Studio L2E. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Um, if not, then just check the down, down bar. But I changed the different inks. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so far off. I'm so sorry. I Should I re-record this? But... I feel like when I re-record my voiceovers, they're just less spontaneous and just less funny. I don't consider myself as a very funny person, but, you know, let's just move on from that. Okay, back to what we're doing, Jackie. Come on, focus, focus, focus. So I'm going to spell out rent, R-E-N-T, because the first of the month is rent is due. And this is Sketch Alpha from Atelier Dreams. Yes, Sketch Alpha. There's also Outline Alpha that has come out. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be a third one. So this is a three-part stamp set, which is really, really exciting because I love alphas. That's just me. Okay, let's get back on track. I'm going to be using one of the quarter boxes from the full box set. And because I could kind of see the header behind it, I'm using a little bit of white out, being a little bit more extra, but it just bothers me when I can see that popping through. So I'm just using some little white out. I actually have a video on that, so if you're interested in knowing what's in my sticker book, then I will leave a link down below and I'll also put a little card up here on the right. You will see that pop up. I'm just using some of this really skinny washi and there I go again you'll see my struggles with using my left hand you will see that throughout the video but I'm just using this little foiled washi which is some of my favorite washi I will leave a link down below to where you can purchase it and I'm using one of the little planners I have so many of these little sheets because I absolutely love them and I try not to hoard them I try to use them because I love them so much I've said it before, there's no use in having things that you don't use and just like keeping them, keeping them super perfect and whatever. But I'm just using that little planner because I actually filmed this video on Monday. So I'm using that as a large chunk of time. My full, my full day is basically going to this video. I am using jamming on my planner because that's like one of my favorite things. I think that's a quote from Parks and Rec, which I love. I love Amy Poehler. 
But I was jamming on my planner and I'm using one of the, um, what do you call those headers from Planning Day by Atelier Dreams. And then I'm just doing some more stamping, just decorative stamping, but functional at the same time because it's pertaining to the task I was doing. So I'm bringing in one of my favorite little icon, not icon sets, my favorite little creature sets, which is the Yeti. As you can see that my photopolymer stamp is kind of yellow, but that's not affect the quality of the stamp. I just kind of forgot and left it in the sun for a little bit so it usually yellows your stamps but do not worry at all it happens that's the true mark of a photopolymer stamp a, a real photopolymer stamp is that yellowing factor but if you keep your stamps out of the sun it's totally fine so i stamped my yeti i masked off that little border section just so no ink will go through and there you go my little yeti and on tuesday i'm using one of the super cute clipboard stickers. I don't know why I use my little tweezers because it's such a large sticker. I could just use my hands. And I am going to be using some of my little sticker flakes in my little sticker sticker flake book which is from Sakura Lala. I'll leave a link down below to where you can purchase this. I think it comes in different colors but I love the little the little purple one the purple one and i'm using some of my little poop sticker flakes this is from the until your dreams set oh poop it's actually called oh i try not to use the word on my channel because i just don't know who's watching it and i don't want to offend anyone so i will bleep that out more editing for me but it's totally fine and i'm bringing back another one of my favorite sets this is Expressions by Atelier Dreams this is one of the first sets I ever purchased from Atelier Dreams and I have used this a top knot girl stamp so much that it's so stained but actually I I can't remember when I did it but I did a huge deep cleaning of my most used stamps because they weren't even sticking on the backing anymore because I've just used them so much so I gave them a nice deep clean they look like some of them are stained but they, they, they stick better on the estate, so that I'm happy about that. So if you find that some of your stamps are not sticking to your acetate, just give them a good clean. I just used a soft toothbrush with a little bit of mild soap and it worked perfectly. Okay, moving right along. I I think I, yeah, I, I come back to Wednesday, but on Thursday I stick one of the little checklist boxes checklist flags and i'm using the to do header from i actually don't remember what this sheet is called but they're headers and they are printed on their transparent paper which is so beautiful and i colored my expression girl off camera but i will be doing a separate video on that very soon so you can see how i color my images i've been really into distress inks lately so that's a little sneak peek of what i use and moving right along to Tuesday, right along, no, going back to Tuesday, I'm using the computer from Me Time, one of my favorite stamps ever. And I'm just using that to mark my editing because I had some editing to do. I never not edit. It's, it's hard. I don't know how like full on, full time YouTubers do it because they must be editing absolutely every single day. Anywho, using one of those icon stickers to mark dinner and on this particular day we had some in and out which I loved in and out I usually get if you want to know my order I get a cheeseburger no tomato no onion because tomato just makes it messy no onion because I just like the flavor of the meat the cheese the lettuce and the spread basically and then I get my fries lightly fried I think it's called fry light or light fry but it's, it just makes the potatoes soggy, and I like soggy potatoes. <laughs> Anywho, moving right along, but that's a little get-to-know-me kind of thing. <laughs> okay, Jackie, focus! So, those little hearts were from Fluffy Clouds, the, the sticker sheet Fluffy Clouds from Kina Prince, and I'm using one of the little border stickers from the You and Me Make Planner Addicts sheet, just to give some decorative element to that header. Now I'm spelling day off with Sketch Alpha because 
yay i had a day off i usually get um a weekday off every two weeks so that's nice i just kind of use that day to relax to run errands if i don't have time on the weekend and i use it a lot to work on my youtube stuff so i added a little emotion the fluffy maru emotion which is from fluffy maru designs he's super cute i'm pretty sure it's a dog yeah i think it's a dog but he's so cute i'm using that washi tape again and I think, yeah, this day we went to Target and we needed to buy a couple things. And I'm just writing that, I'm using a header and then I'll write that there. Yes. And on this bottom box, since we weren't going to do, we, as in my boyfriend and I, we weren't going to do anything that day. Um, I just kind of used this box as a decorative box. So I use a little bit of washi. This is from Michael's as well. And I'm using the washi to cover the rest of the box while the half box this planner attic box i'm using that as just a decorative element and i'm trying to figure out <laughs> where it's gonna go so just keep watching Right oh, did you see my struggles with the X-Acto knife in that section? Ay vey. So, on Thursday, we got a bill to pay, the electricity bill. But before that, I'm putting one of my pizza banners. This is from Sprinkled Pug. And on Friday, we had a pizza party at work. So, I wanted to denote that, that, you know, when I, whenever I have this pizza banner, it's usually because there was a pizza party. Yes, so I have that down and I'm actually using one of the new Atelier Dream set. This is called Plan Finance. This just shipped, Tally just shipped the pre-orders this past week. So if you had ordered it, you will get it now. I'm using some of the little icons, not icons, the headers from this set because I just couldn't wait to use it. There are so many icons in this set. It is unbelievable how many icons and words there are in this set. It's like, how does she do it? How does she put all these little things in this sheet? I'm pretty sure it's magic. But, so I've just put pay electric bill and I'm using the little coffee cup. There's a teeny tiny coffee cup that comes in this set and it's like becoming one of my most favorite stamps. And I'm just using that as a decorative thing. I think we went on a coffee run on Friday. So I'm just using three colors, three of the colors that I used in this spread. And I'm just using that as a little border just to make things a little cute and fun. So if you've ever ordered a sheet from You and Me Make, you will know that their logo is actually a sticker. So I love using that for release days. And they actually had a release day on Friday. So I wanted to mark that in my planner because one of the sheets were uh, so gorgeous that I was like, yes, I'm getting that. So I wanted to make sure that I put that in my planner so I would remember, remember. <laughs> on Thursday, I had some washi samples arriving in. So perfect way perfect re perfect re perfect reason to use the washi tape sticker on friday also being extra again just to add a little decorative flair i whited out the header put some of that foil washi and then put some of the regular washi this is the mint checker washi checker washi checkered gingham washi and there's my head again but look there's a, a accessory. This is my turban thing that I use after I wash my hair just to keep it just to accept, uh, accept, just to absorb excess water so that it's easier to air dry my hair because I don't use any heat on my hair. 
which is probably why my hair has gotten so long because I just don't I don't use heat I barely use any product and I don't color my hair so just that's another little bit about me and my camera cut off and this is what I've done so I added that vertical weekend banner which is from Atelier Dreams as well I'm just adding some foil washi just to give it some more flair and I like to balance out like what washi I use use a little bit on the left side use a little bit on the right side so it looks balanced and even and you can see on Thursday and Friday I got my period so I put day one and day two and I also put off-camera day three and day four on Saturday and Sunday and I used sketch alpha and that little teardrop or water drop or whatever drop is from plan finance as well I'm using one of the other page flags this is a larger checklist and because I had some important not important things to do but main things I wanted to do over the weekend I just used that and I wrote my checklist very large that goes in between two days so it really didn't matter when I did them as long as that I did them over the weekend and I'm using one of these little flags again for a to-do header oh and I forgot to put this one of my little pad period stickers from sprinkled pug as well I love these little pad period stickers cute mini period trackers whatever they're called they're super cute so here I am stamping on the to do and using that on Saturday I will also be using a vertical checklist stamp from Atelier Dreams to put some check boxes and there are also these flags called or they say planner time on the sheet and so I figured I should put that on Sunday which I will be jamming on my planner again as well or well at least I try to set a t uh, <laughs> I try to set aside some time to plan in my planner so here is the vertical checklist these are actually the stars which I think are so pretty and just a little reminder box for me on Saturday I'm using the header don't forget this is from planning day and I'm using some black ink just so I can see it properly and adding one of the little heart stickers from the sheet as well and last but not least I'm putting one of the little planner quotes on Sunday this one says planners gonna plan okay everyone I don't have very much time but I just want to say thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and you can see the full layout on my Instagram page so follow me there too I'll see you guys next time bye